Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Kmart haul. Now I've seen quite a few of these on YouTube at the moment, so I really wanted to do one of my own. So if you want to see what I picked up, then please keep on watching. Now, not gonna lie, I did actually get quite a lot of things, but that is because I don't get to go to Kmart that often anymore. And also, we did need quite a few things as well, so I thought that made it okay. Anyway, let's get stuck in because there are quite a few things to look at. Now, I have kept the receipts as well, so if there's anything in the video that you guys like or wanna pick up, you'll know how much it is. Now, let's start off with something that I definitely didn't need, but I really wanted it anyways. This is a really cute pink and like peachy drink bottle that says, feeling peachy, and I knew I just had to have it. I probably have enough drink bottles at my house, but I just thought I needed another one because, I mean, this one is just way too cute to leave on the shelf. And yeah, it's $5, so I thought that was quite the bargain. So now I've got a packet of makeup wipes. These ones are the Rose Hip and Joja Bar Oil, I hope I'm saying that right, Shea Butter Cleansing Wipes. And you get 30 of them for $2. I usually get makeup wipes from Kmart because they're so affordable, so I can't wait to try these. This is what they look like a bit more close up. So next up we have one of these uh, beauty blender wannabes. This is a makeup blending sponge and as you can see I have a purple one. I'm not expecting wonders from this. It was only $2 but I thought I might as well give it a chance so that's that. So next up I have a tube of hand cream and this one is the Shea Butter hand cream. This was only $3. Like what an absolute bargain. So I'm just going to open it up and have a look. But yeah, my hands have been so super dry lately that I just needed to get more hand cream because I did have some around the house, but I just can't find it. You know what I mean? So I grabbed myself some more. This is what it looks like. So yeah, that's the next thing I got. I can go back in this box. You can't go to Kmart and not pick up at least one candle. Well, if you're me, you just can't. I ended up coming home with two candles. So the first one is the honeysuckle candle and this one has bergamot, white musk and honeysuckle in it. It doesn't have like a really strong scent, but it is quite lovely. So I'm going to be putting this one in my living room. And then I've got this one here called tropical sunset and this one has lily citrus zest and melon in it. You know, to be honest, I feel like they smell quite similar, but I'm not complaining really because they smell really nice. They're not too overwhelming and they're only like $6 each. So I think I'll put this one in my bathroom because my bathroom needs a makeover. So I think a nice smelling candle in there should make it feel a bit more welcoming. So I feel like I'm not really showing you guys all these items in a particular order. I'm just grabbing whatever's closest to me. Hope that's okay. So the next two things I've got are placemats. I picked these up because I thought they would make really good Instagram backdrops. The first one here is probably my favorite. It is a pastel colored and gold marble design placemat. So that's what it looks like here. I think it's super, super pretty. I can just imagine, you know, putting makeup or like little trinkets on top and taking a photo. It looks so nice. And then the second one, is like navy and uh, rose gold geometric design and I thought that was really elegant as well. These were like $1.50 each so I thought that was super super affordable so that is why I got two. Moving on, I think this is my favorite thing that I got from Kmart. I wanted to get a nice throw rug, but I didn't want to spend a fortune on it. But when I seen this, it came up for like $18. I was like, right, that is going in my basket. So this is what it looks like. This is called the Alaska Throw in the gray design. There was a like navy blue design as well, I believe, but I decided to get this. I thought it was better to just get a color that would match pretty much everything. And it's really soft on the back. So it's got like this fleecy white material on the back and then the whole nice grey knitted at the front. So I can't wait to put this on my couch and get all snuggly with it. I really want to get another one now too. I have no idea how big this is going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be a decent size. So yeah, for $18, I thought what an absolute bargain. I have to have this and I'm really glad I bought it home. If I didn't pick this up on my Kmart trip, I would have been thinking about it the whole trip home and I would have had to go back and get one. So yeah, I love this. It's so super soft too. I now have a bath mat. Now, Nick and I are waiting for our ensuite to be finished being built. And currently we're using the main house bathroom and I've never liked the main house bathroom because it's just 
not really that inviting. It's got half lino, half carpet, and it really needs a big paint job in there. We live in an old house and the ceilings are really high, so every time I go in there, I just I feel grossed out by the carpet on the floor and I want to cover it up. So I bought a nice uh, bath mat to um, put next to the bath because the bath is on the side where there's carpet. And yeah, uh, I thought it just would make it look a bit more cozy, essentially, along with the candle. So this is what I ended up getting. I really like this vibrant um, turquoise green color. Just looks like this, even though you guys can't see me anymore. It's really soft and this was $9. And I can't wait to use this and have a bath and then put my little feet on it. I think it would be really, really nice. So I picked up some tea towels because we don't have enough tea towels and the ones we have are really stained and old and gross and disgusting. So I thought it's time to get new ones. So I just got this three pack of dappled leaf tea towels. And I don't know, I just really like the color, the really nice mint green. So how much with these quickly? Most of these prices I can remember, but I can't remember how much these uh, tea towels were. So the tea towels were $5 for three. So I think that's not too bad. I'm really glad I got these. Funny story. <laughs> I used to own one of those marble chopping boards from Kmart ages ago. And I dropped it on the floor and it smashed. And I'm lucky I didn't like axe my foot or chop it in half because that thing was super dangerous. So I had to get rid of it obviously because when it broke, it got really sharp at the bottom and it just wasn't safe to have in the house anymore. So I had to replace my chopping board. So I got a new chopping board, didn't I? And this one is just a nice like wooden one. And the reason why I was attracted to this one is because it has a handle and the handle is actually rose gold. And how am I gonna drop this if it has a handle? So yeah, this one cost me, okay, rose gold chopping board, $9. $9 is pretty darn good for a chopping board if you ask me. I could even use this chopping board for another like what I eat in the day video let me know if you guys want to see that down below so yeah I am really happy with this so the next thing I got is a dish rack and I got this one in particular because of my friend Ali who's on YouTube she did a Kmart haul as well and she featured this matte black dish rack well I'm pretty sure this is the one anyways I really needed a new dish rack ours is just absolutely revolting it's one of those white ones where like the white paint stuff peels off and it just looks really moldy and feral so I thought it was definitely about time to upgrade and I thought when I seen Ali's I thought it was much more elegant so I wanted to get one myself they were nearly out of these too so I was super duper lucky that I actually got this so how much was this one again wire dish rack seven dollars the next thing I picked up actually goes with the dish rack what do you know and it's called a sink tidy so basically you just sit this on your sink somewhere I'm probably gonna put this on my windowsill and you just sit like your, your scrubbing brush or like your scourer or your sponge. So it has a more hygienic place to rest. And yeah, I thought that was a really awesome idea. And for $5, I thought absolute bargain. So yeah. So now I've got a bra. Now I don't normally buy bras from Kmart, but because I am breastfeeding, I normally wear maternity bras. And because I'm not going to be wearing maternity bras for the rest of my life, I don't really want to be spending too much on them. But I also didn't want to look really like gross whilst being a mum, you know what I mean? But in Kmart, they had like $10 maternity bras. And this one doesn't even look that bad. This is like a really really nice lacy looking bra and I can still feel somewhat sexy in it um yeah I thought what a bargain and I had my size not that you need to know how big my boobs are but yeah I thought that was really good and yeah if it's not that good quality then it was only ten dollars now at my house I'm going through notebooks so quickly because I always like to write down ideas for YouTube and my blog so I decided to get like this three pack or four pack four pack that's pretty cool four pack of notebooks books and these were five dollars for all four now I really love the design of the first one that just looks so cute then on the back we've got just these stars and then on the front here it shows you what the other two designs are so we've got like a aqua one that says be a unicorn in a world of donkeys and then the other one is just like multicolored so i'm really happy with these notebooks and yeah can't wait to start using them the last three items i have are felix stuff but i'm going to show you guys anyway so the first thing i have for him are these four pairs of socks 
So yeah, we've got some cute little monster socks. Oh, these ones are cute too. Okay, so we've got these ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. The only thing is, they're really big. But I wanted to start buying stuff that are bigger because he's growing so quickly. You guys have no idea. So eventually he will be able to wear these. The socks were $3. For some reason I thought they were $4.50. So that's even better. So this is pretty boring, but it's something that we needed. This is a two pack of cotton fitted cot sheets. So we've got like a geometric pattern for this one. And then the one in the middle there is probably just plain blue. And these cost me... Fitted cot sheets, $9 for two, so not too bad. There's also like this hole that says touch me so you can feel the material before you purchase them if you want to. Anyway, finally, I also got Felix a book. I love getting him books everywhere I go. I'm just a little bit obsessed. I got him this book called A New Friend for Mouse. That's what it looks like. This book was $2. Are you serious? And when you flick through it, it looks like such a decent book. Like, it looks like it's worth a lot more than $2. So I think this one was my ultimate bargain on this Kmart trip. So that is all of my things I picked up from Kmart. Let me know what your favorite was down below. And don't forget to give the video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You'll find the subscribe button located down below. So yeah, if you do that, you'll be updated with all of my videos. I'm going to go now, guys, but I hope you all have a beautiful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Take me home today. Take me out to play. Take me back into the sweet, sweet melody.